everyone. Welcome to Tour Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your daily messages for November 3rd, 2017. Those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> I just realized that tomorrow's Friday. I just, I should really be doing the love scope for you guys. Okay, well... I'm here now, and wow, this looks... Listen, a lot of you guys... I'll still do the love scope. Some of you guys are, are really um, on, on divine timing energy here. This, both of these cards... Let's talk about the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Karma, destiny, cycles, you know, that are completing. For some of you, maybe endings, but new beginnings, you know... This wheel is, you know, starting to turn in your favor. Notice in this card, you get the sun. Illumination, things coming to light. Um, I mean, over here, you know, this is, you know, spirit, your guardian angels, whatever it is for you. You know, I love it in this deck, really. Some of you... Because if you notice in this deck, in this card, you know, she's she's holding the wheel. She's looking away. Or he, no gender. You know, and this one is like embracing it. You know, so I feel like some of you really want this big change. And then others of you are trying to stop it from happening. Um, this, this, is, this is an amazing energy. You know, this is this is a card of good fortune. Things starting to turn in your favor. You know, things happening the way that they're meant to happen. But also, divine timing is at play with this card. And so is this one. And I know I'm jumping around here and using different cards here. All right, these are um, the Mystic Dreamer Tarot and... Um, the, these are, um, Keepers of the Light Oracle Cards by Kyle Gray. So, what does it say at the bottom here? Intervention and purpose. D divine intervention is occurring. N know that you are being divinely guided. Happiness is your purpose. Divinely guided. Divine intervention is taking place. You know, and what's occurring is... Providing a real, learning curve for your soul. Wow, that's amazing. Energy right here. Um, and the path that you're on right now, that is, it's the right path for you. You know, and the, the universe is just encouraging you to keep moving forward. You know, think, I mean, wow. What are the chances of that? A lot of you were dealing with divine timing on what? Wow, new love. Love. This is the first time you guys are seeing this. These cards, because I only have them like two weeks. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so, wow. All right. One thing at a time. My mind is merely just racing here. Okay. New love. A new chapter. Just like with the Wheel of Fortune. A new chapter. In your love life is beginning. Something new is starting. Whether it's with a new partner or, you know, um, what's the word am I thinking of? Um, rejuvenating. You know, love in your, in your current relationships. Your, your, you know, Reignited. 
But with this card, some relationships could possibly end or they could transition, you know, to where things are, you know, aren't going to be the same as they used to be. They're going to transform for the better. Into a new phase of, of, of passion, renewed love. Or a new person is going to enter your life and inspire great happiness and joy for you. Just like with this card. Um, this is like the current energy that's going on for today. You know, this is the... I mean, that's... that. I mean, wow. You guys got some divine timing at play big time. And these are soul, co soul coaching oracle cards um, by Dennis Lynn. Okay, we have love. Reminds me of kind of like the two of cups. I am wonderful. I receive and give love today and always. So, love is on the way. I mean, it's a day of rejoicing. It's a day of being happy. You know, those of you that are partnered, married, it's like a day of transitioning. This is the current situation for today. So, a lot, you know, a lot of you are dealing with divine timing in your love lives. That's, that's totally meant to be. I mean, karmic. Just let's, let's see what your love cards say. Whoa. Okay. Some of you need to release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy, the romance angels, for this. I see this as the most romantic love offer, the Knight of Chalices, the Knight of Cups. You know, you know coming in, offering you love, Passion, you hold the flame to this person's heart. And anytime I see that card, I, I just gotta, that card never comes out. Wow. Okay, the star. Oh, wow. So maybe some of you are dealing with an Aquarius. I mean, this is a wish, but also I see it as, as water too. I tell you guys that all the time. The star card for me. Is, is water as well. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You know, in 27 years of doing this, 95% of the time, it is a water sign. But first Aquarius. But but I have, I have water energy here. So I'm saying Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And you know what? I was going to say before, you know, with the sun here, you know, there's clarity, enlightenment, and then judgment is after this. So someone has heard, the, has, has heard the call, or they're ready to take action, has seen the light. Wow, and the Two of Pentacles, that's a surprise. I think this is just going to be the biggest surprise of your life. Wow. Justice, and then the world. Wow. Guys, this is beautiful. Some of you need to... Maybe that's what the problem is here. Or some of you are... You know... Some of you don't want to let go. You don't. That's why you're holding on to the wheel. You're trying to stop it from moving forward. 
Listen, once you do that, there is somebody new that's coming in. I mean, this is pretty free. This is pretty damn romantic. This is definitely the, the most romantic card in the, in this entire deck for me. And you're like, who, me? You want me? Like, really, it's going to be a very big surprise for you. You know, cause I, because I always, when I see the Two of Pentacles, you know, she doesn't even see him coming. Or vice versa, guys. No, no, no gender. Doesn't even see her coming. Him, her. Complete surprise. I think it's going to be for some of you. Uh, really, a, a wish come true. For real. Maybe there was a three-party situation at one time. Somebody has seen the light. For real. We got the sun card in here. They have seen the light. Or you have. You woke up this morning and were like, Oh my God. Okay. That's what I need to do. That's amazing. I can't even, I can't even, wow. Beautiful. Guys, leave your comments. You know, when divine timing is at play, you know, you can't stop this from happening. This is major arcana. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Leo, you know, because the sun card is in here, or is in this card, you know. For some of you, but I, I think for the majority of you, it's a water sign. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius. But the time is now. Didn't I just say this? Like two days ago? I'm using totally different cards. No, I am still using these. Um, I did use these today. Healing with the angels. But, I mean, these are these are brand new. And, well, these I've had, but I haven't used them in a while. Beautiful, guys. Leave your comments. Uh, really, that's just amazing. Some of you are definitely dealing with divine guidance and literally being spiritually and guided toward this big love. This is a big love. But definitely you need to let somebody go. Definitely. Well, guys, I can't wait to read your comments on this one. All right, guys, have a beautiful, romantic day. I'll see you guys back here soon. Take care. Bye-bye.